where it all happened last night. Tonight, we talked to three people who were on that bus. One of them told us that that fellow female passenger was verbally abusive to some passengers before she got on the bus, and that's why the sheriff's department was called. She was then uh, verbally abusive to deputies, but not physically threatening when she was struck by one of the deputies' elbows. When Jermaine Green and his fiance Violet Roberts got on a Metro bus in Bellflower Monday night, they took notice of another passenger. The lady got on the bus with her stroller full of pillows, and she was very polite, said hi to everybody, and sat down. At the next stop, two L.A. County Sheriff's deputies, one male and one female, boarded the bus and called the passenger by name. They said, get off the bus. She then, you know, started cursing at her, and you can tell it's, it was very obvious that she was uh, special, you know, had special needs. And uh, after that, you know, they grab her and she cusses him out, calls him a big shot. Next thing you know, he gives her a big shot. Green captured the incident with his cell phone's video camera. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I, he seen me taping him and he looked, he looked up at the camera a few times and he still hit her like that. And I can't believe, I mean, he, he didn't try to defuse the situation at all. Like they were tired of dealing with her, so they didn't try to, 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 Talk, or, talk to her or anything. Green recently returned home from serving six years in the Army, including tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. In the Army, they gave us extensive training for rules of engagement. There's, there's proper protocols and different steps you take. This lady didn't do anything. She was not combative, and he actually turned combative on her. Green claims the deputies then tried to intimidate him when he refused to hand over his cell phone. And he comes to me and says, look, you can be under arrest if you don't give me that video. And then he said, do you have any warrants? I said, no, I don't have any warrants. I'm a veteran. I just came back. I did six years. I have no record. And he said, well, we'll see about that. Why didn't Green want to hand over this video to the deputies involved? I think they would try to cover it up. You know, I think a lot of stuff gets covered up. And I think some people need to come forward if they see something reported because it can't be fixed unless it's brought to the public's attention. An L.A. County Sheriff's Department spokesman told us he would not look at the videotape, but they do investigate all use of force claims and that they do want to get to the bottom of it. We are still attempting to locate the woman seen in that videotape. Reporting live from Bellflower, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News. <laughs> Get off my. I never Really? What's he wrong? I can do nothing wrong. I can break the law. You can.